what is going on people it's been a long time since i've done a reaction video or a watch along like this but guess what on friday we had Ilyas inachi versus superlek for the one championship kickboxing title match and it was very controversial i'll put it on the screen now so you can see the comments on the one championship page and you'll see a lot of people scored it for superlek i scored it for superlek i said it on my live stream that i can't believe inachi won this but in my reaction video where I've done my analysis, most people agreed with me and said that it was a robbery and it was for Superlek. But there was a couple of people that said that Inachi blocked most of the shots and he counted those kicks, so he should have got the victory. Now, disclaimer, I'm not a massive kickboxing fan. I'm kind of new to kickboxing. I'm more of an MMA guy, as most of you know. But to me, it was a clear win for Superlek. So this is what we're going to do. We're not going to be ignorant. We're going to watch the fight back. We're going to watch it together. And we're going to see what we think now. Hold on, let me just sit up here. Yeah, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Three, two, one, go. So, round one. And actually, in orthodox, super lack in orthodox. So, this was the first thing that we saw in the first round, that Superlek had an issue with, with his footing, with his grip. He was slipping all over the place. So, that was the first thing that we noticed in round one. By the way, this is five rounds. Leg kick, super leg. Left over the top by Superlek and a leg kick, but then he fell over. Good leg kick by Iannacci. Slip again by Super Leg. Ooh. Big groin strike. All right, let's use that as a. Hold on. Let me pause that. I need to flip my calls, people. Hold on. You know I don't do these videos without my shisha. Alright, cool, let's go. <coughs> Alright, let's go. So round one, Ianachi's movement was beautiful. Look at that right hand lands for Ianachi. That, he that, that was a good head kick thrown by Superleg, but he fell. Beautiful switch leg kick, Ehenachi. See how light on the feet Ehenachi is. And the Hachi looked beautiful this round. The way he was moving was brilliant. Alright, cool. That's the end of round one. Uh, 
Okay. End of round one. The first thing that I noticed, funny enough, when I watched this the first time, when I watched it live, I thought this was a clear, easy win for Enahachi. And I think that's probably because Superlet kept on falling down. But watching it again, to be honest with you, it was closer than I thought. I'd probably still give it to Enahachi. But it's much closer than I thought. Everybody said that first round was easily for Enahachi, but... And even I said that the first time, but watching it again, it was close than I thought. But we're going to score this 1 0 in a hatchy. Okay, it was close though, but we're going to go 1 0 in a hatchy. All right, let's, let's keep it going. We're saying 1 0 in a Hachi. Alright. Does, does anybody disagree? If you disagree with round one, say now. Alright, round two. This is where it gets interesting now. So Enahachi is still moving around. Leg kick lands for super leg. They trade there. I think a left hook landed in there for Enahachi. So the judges will, sorry, the, the commentators gave round one to Ehenachi as well. Body kick lands for Ehenachi. Body kick for Superleg. That landed. Ehenachi missed his punches there. Little one two there, Superleg. Good lands there from Ehenachi. Good lands from Ehenachi. So far, I've got Ehenachi winning this round. Left hook landed again for Ehenachi. Good leg kick for super leg. And actually tried to throw a right hand there, but I feel like that missed. Right hand over the top landed for Anachi and a leg kick landed for Super Leg. Good job, Anahachi. Leg kick, Super Leg. Leg kick attempt by Super Leg, but nothing too devastating. Enahachi with a body kick. I think Enahachi just won that. No, sorry, Super Leg would. Super Leg won that exchange, I think. Body kick Enahachi. 26 seconds to go. Body kick by Superleg. All right, there was a body kick from Superleg and a punch from Ehenachi. That was very, very close. 
Right, that round was very, 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 very close. I'm leaning towards Enahachi again. I can see that Superlek had a better round this round than the last round, but there's just something about Enahachi's movement, the way how he controlled it. You know, it, I just feel like he got the better of most of those exchanges. So again, I'm going to say Enahachi. I'm giving him round one. And round two. So, so far, I've got this 2-0. If you disagree, say now. Round two. All right, boys, round three. Boys and girls, sorry. Let's go, round three. Good body kicks. Two of them for Super Leg. I just saw a right hand land for Super Leg as well. And Hachi still moving very well. Superlek threw a kick, but it was blocked by Ehenachi. See the okay. See, right. That's where the argument of the people that are saying that Ehenachi won. This is what they're saying. They're saying that Superlek was throwing a lot of kicks, but Ehenachi was blocking them. And I, and I see that here. Let's let's keep it going. Another block. Another block. But I feel like Superleg just landed the right hand. Another block by Inachi. All right, this is the thing now. This is the thing. This is this is where I don't know the rules of kickboxing. If taking the rules out of it, yeah, I would say if you're constantly kicking someone and they block it, let's say you're throwing hard kicks, someone is blocking it with their arm, isn't that still doing damage? Should you get credit for that or not? That's where I don't know. Like, what are the rules of kickboxing? If you block it, does it count for nothing? Because I don't know. I, if it was me, I'd say it counts for something because I don't know if, you know, if you block a kick with your arm, you know, it's, that still hurts, doesn't it? But I don't know. This is where the argument is. Let me know down below. Another block. Knee lands for Ehenachi. Body kick for Superlek. Oh, beautiful block. I mean, beautiful dodge by Ehanachi, and he managed to still throw a leg kick as he was falling down. Okay, that body kick landed for Superlek and a knee. There was a punch thrown in there by Ehanachi. Another block. Returned with a leg kick from Inachi. Good jab by Superlek. 
But it actually counters with the leg kick. It's difficult, man. Good body kick from Superleg. And again. Okay, cool. So that's the end of round three. So this is where it gets difficult now. Because I can see what... The people who said that Ihenachi won, I see what they're saying now. He's blocking most of these kicks. And he's countering, not with hard strikes, with little jabs, hooks over the top, and leg kicks. It would be... It would, be, it would help if one championship... Put the numbers up that said how much were landed, not thrown. Because if we're talking about volume, if we're talking about how much was thrown, if you're talking about who's controlling the ring, if you're talking about who's more aggressive, who's fighting, I'm giving that round to Superlek. But is he landing? And what are you counting as landing? Because if you're counting a block as... Sorry, if you block... If you're saying that that means that the other person didn't land, then Superlek didn't really land that much. He landed a few body kicks and a couple knees, but like people are saying, Ihenachi did count on a lot of that. So it's difficult. So round three, what are we saying? See, and this is where this is where you've got to have a bit of education because if I'm watching this, as a guy who is not really... Okay, if this was an MMA match, right? If this was an MMA match, I would 100% give that round to Superlek. 100%. Because he's the one, he's the aggressor, he's the one pushing forward. And in MMA, I don't know how it works in one championship, but in the UFC, the strikes that cause the most damage are the strikes that count the most. Like a hard a hard shot is worth more than a jab in MMA, in the, in the UFC always. So based on that, I feel like the shots that Superlek are throwing, even though they're getting blocked by Ihenachi, they're still doing damage. So from that perspective, I would give that to Superlek. But... From a kickboxing perspective, if we're saying that blocking the kick means that it didn't happen, I would have to give that to Ihenachi. So this is a difficult one. This is very, very difficult. I'm going to give the round to Superlet. But I'm going to put a star next to that because I'm not an expert. And it might be the case that those kicks that Superlet were throwing don't count. Now, automatically now... I can see where the judges are going with this now. Because let's say that round three, you give that to Ehenachi, then that's already three rounds. He's already won the fight. This is the power of watching the fight back. Let's keep it going. And it's not like Ehenachi wasn't landing anything. Ehenachi's landing though, man. They're not devastating shots, but Ehenachi's landing. Look, he blocks and then he counts with something. It's difficult, man. It's difficult. I can totally understand if somebody gave round three to Ilyas Ehenachi. I can get it. All right, round four. Superleg opens up with a kick. I think that landed. Another leg kick by Superleg. All right, sorry. This is another thing. With kickboxing, the level of striking and the speed of the striking is so fast, sometimes it's hard to even see what's landing or what's not. It's just like... And because these guys, they've got no fear of being taken down, they can throw these wild strikes as fast as they want. And it's like, you know, it's just... The strikes are rapid, man. They're rapid. They're rapid. Let's keep it going. This is round four. See, that was a hard kick by Superleg, but it was blocked by Anachi. I look like that looked like he might have been blocked by the hand of Anachi again. Right hand landed from Anachi, clean. Knee lands for Superleg. See, look at that. Look at that. 
Look at that. Let's look at that again. Let's look at that again. Look at this. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. Superlex going to throw a kick, right? And Ehanachi's going to block it. And then he's going to counter and land. Watch this. Watch this. Block. Bang. Oh, but then again, Superlex blocked it as well. I'll say they both blocked. They both, they both blocked. They both blocked. They both blocked. Okay, so we just heard one of the commentators say that Hanachi's moving a lot, but he's not offering a lot offensively. So this, again, comes down to the rules. How much does controlling the ring or the cage count in kickboxing? If that counts for a lot, then you've got to give this to Superleg. But if that doesn't matter and it's all about landing and not getting your strikes blocked, you have to give that to Hanachi. Big kick blocked again, another one blocked. I saw a little body kick there for Superlek. One minute 30 to go. Okay, so there. That is a prime example. That is a better example. So what are you going to see here? You're going to see Ihenachi definitely block and definitely land a punch. Block. Bang. He landed that left hook. He threw two left hooks and one of them landed. Well, this is the thing. It's all well and good. The commentator is saying that Superlet got out. He did get out, but he took a left hook. He did. He did. He took a left hook there to the head. Let's keep it going. I'll give that exchange to Superlet. He ended it with a leg kick. That was clean. Blocked. Block and the right hand got through for Ianachi. Look, Ianachi's landing those leg kicks. You see that? You see that? Look at that. Look at that. As he was falling, right, he's landing leg kicks and super leg is getting blocked. Look at this. Watch this again. Watch this again. Watch, block, leg kick, block, leg kick. If you watch this fight again, it tells a different story. It tells a very different story, man. And it, this is, all comes down to the rules of kickboxing. Ehenachi is landing, Superlek is getting blocked. Tell you what, this is interesting. It's all well and good saying he's throwing round kicks, but they're getting blocked. Blocked. I think that foot, it landed a little bit. And Nachi's shaking his head, but it touched him. It touched him. I would score that for Superlek. He landed a head kick. Block. Oh my god, that round is so difficult to score. So it's the same thing again. Superlek is controlling the pace. He's the aggressor. He's the one fighting. He's the one really fighting. But technique for technique, Ehenachi's the one landing, man. Who the hell do we give round four to? I'm not going to lie. I'm giving that to Ehenachi. I think like he was more technical... And I think there's different types of blocks. There's a type of block here where you've got your hand up and the guy hits you in the face and it's like, okay, you've blocked it, but you've still taken the impact. Like, you've taken some damage. But then there's the type of block in this round where Superlex throwing strikes and Ehenachi's blocking them here. He's oh, Sorry, where's the camera? He's blocking it here. He's blocking it there. He's blocking it. They're not. He's not really taking it clean. So I, I consider that like a real block. 
<laughs> that sounds so stupid. You get what I mean, man. How are you talking about? So far, right? I've got given round one, round two, and round four to Ehenachi. And that round three, you could have potentially given that to Ehenachi as well. This tells a very different story. What do you guys think, man? Round four, what are we saying? Also, guys, please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And it's not looking good at the moment. So please, please, please. Lego. Look at that straight right that landed for Enachi. Look at that. Enachi blocks, throws an uppercut that lands. That was a good kick for Super Lech. Okay, round five, boys and girls. I should have got some water in it. All right, final round. Okay, so that looks like a good trip. But from what I understand, in kickboxing, you're not allowed to do a sweep like that. In Muay Thai, that's a good thing and it scores you points. Kickboxing rules, you're not allowed to do that. That I do know. So we're not giving a point to Enachi for doing that. In fact, he violated... Let's see that again. The commentators are doing a... The commentators are doing a bit too much. That was a good straight right by Superlek. Straight right, landed. That body kick was partially blocked. Blocked again, and that land. Okay, look, see, again, again, that roundhouse kick from Superlick was blocked by Enachi, and then Enachi landed. Let's let's look at that again. Let's look at this again. Watch this. Block leg kick lands for Enachi. It's not as simple as we thought, boys and girls. Again, blocked by Enachi, countered. It's not as simple as we thought, boys and girls. Blocked by Ehenachi. Left hook lands for Ehenachi. Ehenachi's winning the round. Okay, listen to that. Listen to what the, the commentator... The commentator just said these kicks are throwing Ehenachi off balance and he's unable to counter. That's just not true, bro. He is countering. That's just that's just simply not true. No, it doesn't. Let's see it. Boom, bang. He does counter. He does counter. See, this is the problem. The the commentators were influencing us. They were influencing us big time because they they're saying that Ian actually is not countering. He is. He is, man. And I'm guilty of this. I said this was a robbery. I said it. I said this was a robbery. It's not. I was wrong, man. I was wrong. Good block by Enachi. That leg kick landed. That's a good body kick, super leg. That's a good body kick, but it's partially blocked.
I saw a left hand land there for Ehenachi. That head kick partially landed, but then we saw a leg kick from Ehenachi. That head kick was fully blocked. That head kick was blocked again. A knee got through there for Superlek. This is a hard round to score. That is a very, 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 very close round. Who did you guys give round five to? I'm leaning towards Enahachi. Based on the cleaner technique. And when he was throwing, he was landing. When he threw, he wasn't getting blocked by Superlek. But when Superlek was throwing, he was getting blocked. But even if, for argument's sake, we give round five to Superlek... I already gave round one, round two, and round four to Enahachi. So on my scorecards, uh, on my scorecards, I've already given it to Enahachi, three rounds. So even if I give Super like round five, and I've got to put a star next to it, he still lost to Enahachi, I think. And that round three, that could have gone to either man, depending on what the rules of kickboxing are. Superlek thinks he's done it. Let's see some replays. Okay, yeah, but look, the commentator just said, check out this power, but... I don't know, man. It doesn't look very clean. How is he evading? He's getting blocked and, and he's getting kicked. That was a good right hand for Superlek. Good knee by Superlek. They both think they've got it. <sighs> okay. Look, super, super lucky. So <laughs> he's like, "What the hell just happened?" All right, look. All right, look. One thing that we've got to say, there's two issues from one championship's perspective. One championship don't let you know the scores. They don't say, okay, twenty like 30-27 or 29-28 or whatever, or like 50-45 or any of that stuff. They just declare a winner, which I don't like that. I don't like that. There's many things I do like about one championship that I prefer to UFC, but that, I don't like that. I feel like that opens more opportunity for corruption because the... the it opens more opportunity for corruption and it also opens more opportunity for the judge, uh, lack of accountability for the judges. Now, I'm not saying this was corrupt and I'm not saying this was a bad decision. When I watched it the first time, I thought it was a terrible decision and people in my live stream were saying, oh, there's some mafia stuff, some mob stuff going on and maybe someone was paid to give this to Inachi. But watching it again, nah, nah. It, it was a very close fight. But it would have helped if one championship specified what rounds they gave to Inachi. I think it would have been more clear for people to see. It would also be good if they showed the judges' scorecards, like what the UFC does, so you can see which rounds were given to who. Also, it would have been very, very useful if they said how many strikes were thrown by each man and how many strikes were landed. That would clear up a lot of this. It would also be very good to get an understanding as to what are the rules of kickboxing. I've been banging on about this, but if you block a shot, does it count or not? Does it count? Because if it counts, then you've got to give it to Superlek, I think. But based on the fact that a lot of these shots, they just... 
like I said, I think there's two types of blocks. There's the type of block where you've got your hand up, somebody hits you and it's like, boom. I think that still does impact. I think you should still score for that. But if I'm blocking it here, blocking it there, nah, man. So anyway, that's my verdict, man. I've actually... And Ilyas Iannacci, I apologise. I said that this was a robbery. I take it back. At most, it was a very, very close fight, but I'm leaning towards Iannacci now. The question is, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. Did you watch all? The, did you watch the whole fight back? Did you watch it with me? If you did, what rounds did you give Iannacci? Which rounds did you give to Superleg? I'm be very, 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 very interested to know who everybody went with because this fight is much, much closer than we than we thought. I think. So yeah, jump in the comment box and let me know if you know something that I don't know, especially to do with the rules of kickboxing. This has been MMA Miles at Fight Night Chat. Like and subscribe. We out.